Begin one of those tutorials that started out as a question, this time by our dear friend Patrick, asking how we'd pull off something like this here in this really beautiful spot for Malachi called Molasses. And here we have this really viscous paint being smeared and painted around in close-ups. So after a bit of fiddling around, I decided to settle on Flip to simulate those really viscous fluids being moved around. And in this tutorial, I just want to go over the basic settings I used to get the overall look kind of right. In this case, our simulation will consist broadly speaking of three elements. An emitter, emitting fluid into our scene, a collider working as the brush to move this fluid around and a dot net simulating the whole setup. So let's build this step by step by dropping down a geonode in Houdini, then diving in there and for our source, that means for our fluid emitter, I'm gonna just be lazy and use a sphere. I wanna set my sphere to be a polygonal mesh and wanna increase its rows and columns quite a bit to 48 and 96 respectively, resulting in this high res sphere here. Then I want to increase its overall scale to 2.5 and its radius along the y-axis to 1. So stretch this a bit and then move this up to, I think, 2.6 is what I settled on. And those values I dial in here, I figured out by just lots of trial and error. And that's the beauty of working with simulations. So patience and figuring out values, which in this case I prepared for you. Now to use this sphere as a fluid emitter, as a flip emitter, I'm going to attach a flip source, which will generate the necessary data. And in here there are two main settings which I want to dial in later and which I want to link later to my overall simulation resolution, which are the voxel size and the particle separation. However, for now, the only thing I want to dial in here is the jitter seed, so that when animating, my particles are jittered and not static, just using an expression here, $FF, so the jitter seed is equal to my frame number. Also in here, I want to oversample this to give a bit denser particle distribution, and I just want to slightly oversample this by 1.5 units. So far, so good. Just want to attach a null to this, Call this one out underscore source, like so. And that's it for the emitter. So when I middle mouse on this, you can see we're generating a volume called surface and a bunch of particles, which are in the point group of particles. Next, let's work on that brush. And for the brush, I'm damn lazy and I'm just gonna use a box. Let's set the visibility flag on it here and rescale it a bit. So first I wanna make this a bit flatter and broader and then move this up a bit to 1.4 units. Also, I want to give this substantially more divisions so I have more polygons and more individual points to work on here. I think I settled on 160, 7, 2, and 8 divisions, resulting in this finally subdivided mesh right. here. The reason. I'm fucking dying.